Hello guys, this is Xi. Today, I'm going to present to you a bacteria, Salmonella, and how is it impacting our food system. First of all, let's take a look at the facts of Salmonella. Salmonella has over 2,300 strains, and only half of them are involved in human diseases. The disease caused by Salmonella is called Salmonellosis which is the most commonly seen foodborne disease and water disease. And actually, this disease is an infection, which is highly dangerous for the group of people with low immunity, such as infants and children. And basically, it is really dangerous to all of us, and also this is why I study it. And salmonella can be carried by the, a whole range of the meat products, and also, it can be found in the faces of the animal, especially infected animals. Humans can get infected by eating the food which carries salmonella or by direct contact with the infected animals or people. When humans get infected, it only takes 12 hours to 72 hours for symptoms to show up. And the symptoms include diarrhea, headache, vomiting, nausea, and etc. This is a list of salmonella global outbreaks in 2014. You can see the variety of food. There are cucumbers, nuts, cheese, and chicken. And you may also notice that although our government spends a lot of money on the prevention, there were still around 10 outbreaks last year. So this is how tough this bacteria is. Salmonella does not only infect humans, it is also a threat to our livestock. And it is really hard to be prevented because infected animals behave just like healthy animals. So it is extremely important to check the faces regularly because animals with diarrhea faces need to be isolated immediately. And there are some prevention methods in farms. And uh, always hand wash and sanitation is always considered as a priority. And farmers may not eat or drink anything in farms. And they get to wear the proper shoes or clothing. <coughs> if there are any visitors are coming, it is better to, to inform those visitors about the potential danger of the salmonella. And pets. Pets like to play around, so it is better to keep pets away from the barns. In, uh, in 2013, there was a notorious salmonella outbreak in Southland. 40 farms are infected and 100 sheep died, which was the worst that ever, uh, that, uh, which is the worst that has been ever seen in the last 10 years. In New Zealand, MPI stands for Ministry Primary Industrial, and this organization is responsible to monitor relevant cases. When cases are reported, there must be an investigation. The officers from MPI is going to check the food history of the patients, such as water consumption, animal contact, occupation, and etc. And uh, so a special designed salmonella questionnaire is going to be provided to the patients to fill out, followed by a sample testing. As for the food product, MPI takes the responsibility to do the sample testing before the food go to the market. A single quarterly found in the test or in the petri dishes will result in the rejection of the whole, whole, whole food product. Also, NPI is responsible for the hygiene education and health education. In conclusion, Salmonella is a bacteria which is dangerous to both our health and the food system. It is important to minimize the damage of this bacteria and prevent any outbreaks. Thank you.